Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're talking about the iCloud keychain and we're gonna be showing examples on the Mac, but we're mostly gonna be talking about what it is, how to use it, and also how to remove it. So sometimes the keychain may be causing problems with installing software such as Microsoft Office and it can be a little bit hard to understand. So we're just gonna quickly provide a little bit of information on it. Before we get into that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so what is iCloud Keychain? Now, Keychain is going to remember things so that you don't have to. It autofills your information, like your Safari app usernames and passwords, pass keys, credit card information, and security codes. It also saves Wi-Fi passwords on any device that you approve. So the main benefit to using the iCloud Keychain is that it'll automatically generate a strong password for you. Strong passwords are important because they're almost impossible for hackers to figure out. So your information is better protected and it's almost impossible to remember that stuff. So the keychain will just save it in the cloud for you automatically. All right, so first we're gonna quickly show you guys how to use the keychain if you wanna do that. And then we're gonna show you how to remove it. So let me just quit out of this. The easiest way to find everything in the same location is we're gonna go up to our top right and click our spotlight. And we're gonna type keychain. And the first thing that shows up should be keychain access. So we'll click that to open it up. Now here I have iCloud selected on the left-hand side. So this is gonna be all of my keychain information stored in iCloud. So I can search for something, for example, a specific website server. So I can go through in, I can click on any of these, and from this little pop-up window, we could edit the password, change the name, or just edit it in any way that we need to. If we wanna create a brand new keychain, we can click the notes icon here at the top, and we'll just write a name for the keychain, Put the account name so this would be for example your email address and then here you can type in your password here it says password strength weak this is definitely something that we want to pay attention to we can actually take a suggestion from here and if there aren't any password restrictions we can click on the random thing right here it's going to generate a strong password it will tell you the quality level and we could just enter that in right there and add so this is going to be where most of your keychains are stored if you wanna look specifically at Safari keychains, we can go over to the Safari tab at the very top here and click on settings. And there's a password tab right here. So we'll need to enter our admin password for the computer. And this is gonna be our Safari keychain. We have all of our iCloud keychain access stuff right here. And if you just specifically wanna look at your website login information that's saved through Safari, this is how we pull that up. What we could do here is we could scroll all the way down and hold shift, click the bottom one. That's gonna select all. See, so we have 526 accounts. And if we wanna go ahead and remove these, we could actually export all passwords. So you can get them all in a file so that you have them, simply by clicking this here. And then hitting this minus button and pressing confirm will delete all of these passwords. And we can delete them from Safari here. And if I go back to the keychain access, and then I hold command and press A, we're gonna select all. And then same thing here, we can press delete 1080 items and that's gonna delete all of this keychain information. So I found one down here that I don't mind deleting. I'm gonna right click on it and press delete just to show you guys. So we'll press delete and just like that, it's gone. So if you're having keychain problems, sometimes you might actually just have to delete everything. Now we're gonna show you guys one more method of deleting your keychains. And this is gonna be just to delete everything all in one go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up our finder and then under the Go tab, we're gonna press and hold down the Option key and click on Library. From here, we're gonna find the folder that says Keychains. Here's mine. And then if I press and hold Command and press A, right click, Move to Trash. So you would do that, and then you'd right click on your trash and press Empty Trash. And then from that point, restart your computer and you will be good to go. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions about this or want to know any more specific information, let us know in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. If you enjoyed the video, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.